What's up, everybody? This game is Thought 808 here, and I'm here to bring you guys a review. My Hero Academia. Um, this is gonna be more of a uh, towards the end of season four review. I just finished season four, so majority of my thoughts are gonna be focused on the end of this um, season, and I'll give a brief. I'm gonna give my brief opinion on the season overall. So. My brief thoughts on the season are that it started off with a bang. You, if you guys have seen my previous videos, I've already stated that so far, Overhaul was my favorite villain. And he was a part of the season, if I'm not mistaken. I absolutely liked him. He was the... I'm damn near close to saying he's the best character. It's him and Aizawa. Aizawa has, you know, he's gotten some less screen time. He was up there. He was kind of like the Kakashi of this anime. He was getting up there in, you know, popularity and likeness, but they cut his screen time. He's just a teacher. But Overhaul has become my favorite. I take that back. You know what? I'm going to keep him. He's, he's my number one. There's another dude that I like. But I'll get to him. We start off with a bang. We had Overhaul. He was an amazing villain. Sadly... The writer got rid of him, and we got Tomura trash garbage Tomura back. And it just it made me absolutely sick that he had to go out like that. And then we moved on from him to... um, What's his name? The French dude who uses air and bounces off the air. What's his name? Let me pull off his name real quick. It's right here. Uh, Gentle. Gentle. That's why I couldn't remember his name. He was he was more like a filler villain, in my honest opinion. That's how I felt about him. He came and then he just went. He wasn't that serious. He just he was he got dusted pretty fast. And then we went on to the final um I guess he would be a sub villain, the Nomu. He was brought back by one of Tomura's henchmen, and that Nomu went and attacked Endeavor. So a fight popped off and Endeavor came out victorious and that is what I wanted to speak on. Endeavor. I'm going to give high marks and salute to the writer for giving Endeavor some incredible character development. Some deep character development. I enjoyed th these last few episodes about Endeavor and his the path that he took. Even though it was, some of it was, I don't want to say, it was kind of like a, explained through a flashback. But it was amazing just, you know, watching these types of storylines being done in a, in an anime targeted towards, towards um, adolescents. Early on when I seen Endeavor and the way he was, his story was um, portrayed to us, I didn't like him. He was a complete douche. He was... Uh, presented as a, I don't want to say antagonist. He was kind of an antagonist. He was the abusive father who abused his child. He abused his family. He abused his wife to the point where she had to be um, held at a uh, psych ward. And I didn't like him for that. I didn't like him. I don't. I don't think anyone would like that, regardless of what power you have as a character. And as the, as time went by, he started to come around as a more likable character you know his son um Todoroki went to his agency they worked together he defeated um a few of the nomus that popped up and then we come to season four and he was he's confronted by a nomu that is pretty op a much intelligent nomu and the fight pops off and it is one of the best fights in the series so far i'd say it's top three the animation was beautiful. The soundtracks were amazing. And we're also introduced to another character, Hawks. I like Hawks. He's kind of weak as far as strength goes, but his quirk is it's kind of like a support quirk. You know, he's he's excellent in rescuing missions, those types of things. He was helping um Endeavor during the fight. He tried his best, he was rescuing people. 
I like him. I like his I like his personality. He's he's a cool guy. But during the fight, Endeavor, man, I put in the, I moved Endeavor up to top four. I think now he's in my top four. I have a top five ish characters. My number one is Overhaul. Number two is Mirio. Number three, Aizawa. Number four, Endeavor. No. Number four is Bakugo. Number five is Endeavor. I moved him up. He was in my bottom, bottom, bottom. I have a top five for the most part. I don't care about the other five. But that is my top five currently. These are the characters that I have been that I've become attached to. And you know, I've shitted on My Hero Academia and, you know, previously I've said it's a ripoff, it is trash. I feel like this arc right here, it it boosted it up. The writer flexed his writing and he showed that someone can go from being a piece of shit and they can rehabilitate themselves to become someone that's better. He started off as an abusing, as an abusive father. And leading to this arc, he's, he, he has become a better person, a better character. And I like that. I, I like how he was done. And even his wife um, was speaking on how he changed and how he, try, how he is trying to win her back. You know, he hasn't spoken to her yet. He, he hasn't, you know, had a dialogue or a conversation about, you know, how apologetic, or, you know, he is. He's been sending her flowers and whatnot. But yeah, man, hopefully she can be his um, support. You know, she's not a hero, but hopefully she can be there for him when he flames out, you know, since he has a limit to his power. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it. That is my review for this um, season, this last episode. Season 5 trailer has been out. I just, you know, I took my time with this. I was like, I'll just wait. That character, um, that trash character kind of turned me off so I, I just told you know what i'll go back to it i'll binge through it i'll just wait i'll let these episodes ride out and then i'll go back and i'll watch it and i'm glad i came back and i watched it because it was incredible how this season um ended game of style 808 i'm out of here my criticisms of the serious stand i'm giving it props i'm not a fanboy. You guys should be more like me. Don't allow these writers to give you trash writing and get away with it. This is great writing. And I'm giving it props now. So I'm going to continue to watch it. I'm going to continue to be honest about what I see and how I feel. You can stick around for that. Or you can just, you know, be a fanboy and come and go and just write negative comments. But that's about it. Game of style edit with I'm out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe for, for uh, more content like this. And I'm out of here. Salute.